Undeniably, the everyday life of Filipinos are dominated by foreign influence. Which is obvious as most of them loves to indulge themselves to foreign things. And that's fine because it gives satisfaction which is great, because it relieves their stress. But let's not forget that it's also good to allot even just a piece of your precious time to know more about Philippines and appreciate local products, services, entertainment, and so on. There are many things that we can do to show our support and love for the country. You can listen to original Filipino musics, buy local produce, visit local tourist spots, watch indie films or go to the National Museum of the Philippines. The National Museum of the Philippines is the Museum of the Filipino People. It houses the most important ethnographic, anthropological, archaeological, and visual artistry of our nation from the prehistoric period to the modern times. Once entered the museum, a familiar large painting unfolded within our eyes. It is our first time seeing it this close, but it sure did live for its name. The masterpieces like the Spoliarium by national artist Juan Luna was located at the Central Hall on the house floor, level 2. It's the first room you'll see when you enter the National Gallery from Padre Burgos Avenue. The whole museum is divided into four levels, namely Judiciary Floor, Senate Floor, the House of Representatives Floor, and the Executive Floor. On level 2, at the House of Representatives Floor, the Gallery 6 is located, that features Philippine art from the early 20th century, most notably from Fernando Amor Solo. Together with Juan Luna, Amor Solo is one of the favorite Filipino artists. He was known for his portraits and paintings depicting rural Philippine landscapes. Gallery 5 is the gallery to honor the Philippine national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Executed in 1896 by the Spanish Army, Dr. Jose Rizal was a nationalist, novelist, poet, artist, ophthalmologist, journalist, and revolutionary. Author of Nali Mi Tan Hair and El Filibusterismo, he is widely considered as one of the Philippines' greatest heroes. Gallery for Fundacion Santiago Hall Featuring the works of Isabelo L. Tampainco, one of the Philippines' most celebrated sculptors. Gallery 11 SPPC Hall Featuring sketches by Fernando Amor Solo I love Amor Solo's sketches. His gestures are dynamic and reverberating with energy. The Filipino painter Fernando Amor Solo was known for his vivid depictions of landscapes, rural life, and portraits. Amor Solo began his formal art education at the Liceo de Manila where he studied under the artist Fabian de la Rosa. He later went to the University of the Philippines School of Fine Arts, where he further honed his skills in painting and fine arts. A work of art in itself, the spiral staircase to the third level or senate floor. Isn't this beautiful? Gallery 15, Philam Life Hall Pillars of Philippine Modernism, 8. Featuring the work of Vicente Manansala, another favorite of mine. His compositions and colors are extraordinary. This painting is one of Juan Luna's most celebrated works. It depicts Luna himself, Jose Rizal, and Ariston Batista Lin having a discussion about the Philippines at a cafe in Paris Interior d'un Café, Parisian Life, Juan Luna y Novicio, Oil on Canvas, 1892.
One of the main purpose why visiting the museum instead of going to a beach or out of town vacation is much better. Except for the fact that this will be way more cheaper than out of town vacations. It is because you can strengthen your own patriotis. It is also the best way to appreciate the artworks and stories of our national artists, the fragments of their history, and the fruit of their success. Once you've been there, you'll be literally amazed by the extremely beautiful artworks and that you'll be so busy that you can't decide which to look first. You'll learn so much by just looking at the paintings like the evolution of medicine in the Philippines, the story behind Spolarium, the coronation of the Virgin Retablo during the 18th century, the Christmas card series and many more. Your Filipino blood will proudly flow because the pieces are astonishing.